Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing about starting and stopping services in Oracle Business Suite release 12.2. So what we are going to see in this lesson? First we'll see what are different components which we have to start and stop successfully in order to manage the services. Then we'll be seeing what is the order of starting and stopping the services. We know already that in Oracle eBusiness Suite, basically it's a three-tier architecture wherein as an apps DBA you'll be managing the application tier and database tier services. Now on the database tier, it is only the Oracle database which runs along with the database listener. So what you have to do is basically whenever you want to start the database, you'll be starting the database and also the database listener. So these two are the only components which you have to manage in the Oracle database side of the eBusiness Suite. On the application tier, obviously there are a lot of other components as well which you have to manage. The first important thing is the application listener, then Apache or basically the HTTP server or the web server. Then there is something called concurrent processing for reports. Then importantly there is basically WebLogic admin server and there are different managed servers such as OA Core, Forms, OAFM etc. Of course most important ones are only OA Core and Forms in the managed servers. And then we have node manager and OPMN. So these are all the components which you have to basically start and stop in order to access the Ibizin suite successfully. Mm. Now let us see what is the order of order of starting. When you're starting the services of Oracle Business Suite, first you have to start the database listener, then start the database, then the application services. When I say application services, I mean all of these components. Then when you are stopping, you have to stop exactly in the reverse order. You will be stopping first the application services. This will ensure that there are no users who are able to access because the intention of you stopping services is obviously to make sure that the e-business suite is down. So when you stop the application services, there will be no users who can connect now after stopping the services. After that, you'll be stopping the database listener. When you stop the database listener, obviously any new connection to the database will not be accepted anymore. Then finally, you'll be stopping the database. So if you see the order carefully while starting, we first start the database because obviously the application services, when they're coming up, they obviously need to access the database first. So. In the, same, in the same way, when you want to stop the services, first you don't stop database because already the application services are connected to database. So that is the reason first you stop the application services, then the listener and then the database. In the next lessons, we'll be seeing in detail how to start and stop services, what are the locations of the scripts, how we can stop them manually and how you can use scripts completely.